Testosterone boosters cause low testosterone. That's the name of today's video. This video is presented to the world because I see and hear from my main charge nurse that she receives so many calls during the day in the last six months or so from men that are not on steroids or TRT. They're on testosterone boosters and they're very concerned and they tell her that they're suffering and they suffer with concentration issues, mood and depression, anxiety and sexual issues, not to mention gynecomastia. So it appears like these agents are very similar to anabolic androgenic steroids. So what are these agents, testosterone boosters? I did my research and I deal with this all the time because I see men that are on steroids typically in the end and they want to come off steroids or they have medical issues and that's what I deal with. And of course I take care of men on testosterone replacement and it's, it's a man's club for men on androgens, if you will. And for a lot of men, it starts right here. So I did the research and I wanna present it to you very succinctly. So, testosterone boosters. How do you boost testosterone naturally? And can you actually boost testosterone naturally? So you can, it appears like you can. So there are really two agents, two classes. There's testosterone boosters, then there's pro-hormones. Let me first go into the testosterone boosters. What are they? So if you do your research and you are gonna go online or purchase one of these, you're gonna find a host of agents. So there's many of these, but I just wanna be succinct. Tribulus, Fenugreek, D-H-E-A, Ashuganda. There's a very interesting agent called Tonkat Ally or Longafella or Long Jack. There's Yohimbi. And there's a bunch of other agents, including even vitamin D, D, asparactic acid, zinc, and ginger. But let's talk about these agents that I talked, that, that I presented. These agents, how do these agents work? Because they're real. These are old agents, old herbs and plants from ancient parts of the world and they do work. How do they work? They're really not completely sure, but I'm gonna present some of the mechanisms, and the mechanisms all are going to have effects in the central nervous system, in the cerebral cortex, in the hypothalamus, and the pituitary, and of course there's the axis to the testicles, that old school hypothalamus pituitary gonad axis. It has other effects where it'll actually block the effect of androgens, as people know, aromatization and lowering estrogen effects, I've discovered. And there's a host of other effects where they're really not boosting testosterone at all. They're actually just having effects on the brain because sex for a man and being relaxed as a man and feeling well as a man, is not just about testosterone. So they end up lumped in as testosterone boosters, but they're really not boosting testosterone. For an example, tribulus. It seems like the mechanism on tribulus increases luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulant hormone, in addition to some other mechanisms. Fenugreek, that's actually unclear what the mechanism is. And I look at real medical data for this, not just some of the purported, you know, stuff that we see throughout the world, which that's very important, actually. But scientifically, can it really hold its weight? And that's what I try to, when I do my reading as a physician, I try to read through, of course, with evidence-based studies. First, then I look at the anecdotal, because that's very important. Aromatase inhibitors, and it has a blocking effects, fenugreek. It seems like it does. It also is interesting that it can increase endogenous insulin, and when weightlifters and people looking to get heavy and build muscle, there can be some effect in weight gain. I'm not sure how true this is, but when you do your reading on it, you'll see that's there. 
DHEA is a actually weak adrenal hormone and it converts to testosterone and can even aromatize to estrogen. So DHEA, again, and you see this over the counter. These are all over the counter, most of these. There's some gray zone in some of these, of course, depending on what country you're in. Ashwagandha. This is very interesting where it doesn't seem to really increase testosterone, but it has stress reducing effects and well-being effects for men and could be some kind of an aphrodisiac. Okay, Tonkat Ali, otherwise known as Long Jack. This is a very special type of peptide called a Uri peptide. And it seems like this again too may not really increase testosterone so much in the studies, but it seemed to normalize stress hormones and it seemed to neutralize or even reduce sex hormone binding globin. And in the end, if you affect sex hormone binding globin, you're going to have effects on free testosterone. So there it is. So it's not really directly increasing T, but it's liberating your free testosterone. And that, of course, we know <clears throat> scientifically and clinically, it crosses the blood-brain barrier and a man feels better. I mean, when we prescribe testosterone, that's what's happening. And we're, we're just kind of shutting down all your systems and bypassing it. So, Yohimbi, <clears throat> a very interesting agent. It's actually, if you look at the pharmacopoeia in the United States, it's actually used for erectile dysfunction. I'm not sure it really boosts testosterone so well, but it may, and it could cause a side effect of hypertension, but it definitely somehow works in, in the blood vessels, in the corpus cavernosum, kind of like Viagra a little bit, but it's very, very complicated because it also has effects on the brain for spontaneous erections. So <clears throat> all together, these are the natural, if you will, testosterone boosters. There they are. And I, I know there's m many more, but these are some of the big ones. Now, what happens? <clears throat> these companies put them all together. So little Tonkat Alley, little Tribulus, Fenugreek, DHE, um, and Yohimbi. Now, this is the problem. It's a shit show. It's a mess. It's a mess. That's why I'm seeing these men, because if they have anxiety or depression, because that's what's causing their poor mood, and their quality of life, not to mention sex, that's not being addressed. So, before I move on to what I think the plan should be and what your alternative can be, let me present the pro-hormones. So, T-boosters, and that's the title of this video, you can't get away from natural testosterone boosters that I presented and other agents. These are, again, we're not talking about steroids today, or, or, or these shouldn't be steroids, but sometimes they are. Pro-hormones. <clears throat> this is an agent. It's not stimulating anything. This is a, a, a hormonal agent that in your body is being metabolized to an active agent. It's a pro-hormone. Been around for a very long time. What are the classic names? Remember Superdraw? Still there. Halodraw? Still there. 1AD? 4Andro? These are still there. And, and you know, the truth is, Superdraw, I know for a fact, is really just an anabolic, antigenic oral steroid. And some men like it better than Anadrol and D-Ball. Superdraw, they get stronger on that, with or without testosterone. So, pro-hormones are very powerful, but I have to differentiate them from the testosterone boosters, the natural ones, because these are actually agents that are converting your body to either stronger androgens, DHEA, testosterone itself, or even converting obviously to estrogen. And with pHs, and if you read across the board and you talk to all people, these guys have acne, bloaty puffiness, and gynecomastia. So that's my presentation on what testosterone boosters are and some of the mechanisms. The problem is, is that in the end, when you take an agent that affects your central nervous system or bypasses it directly like the pHs do, you, you end up shutting down. You get right back into the scenario that you did and you can have with steroid use. So just use steroids, people say, right? Well, I don't know. I don't recommend that. So the condition 
academically, clinically, is anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism. That's what we have here, but to a much lesser extent. So these drugs, it's amazing. And I always say there's no free lunch. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's the universe. That's spiritualism. That's our medical world. I see it every day for men that are using these agents. So <clears throat> what should you do? You should understand that why are you boosting your testosterone? Why are, is it for muscle? I mean, I love muscle. If it's for muscle, be careful because they may work or they may be a stepping stone to boosters, not tribulus, and Fenner Geek, uh, Longfellow, may work, may not work. Then you go to pHs, then you're on steroids. Again, this is just what I see. No one's going to disagree with this. And then you get into being a steroid user, and then your pituitary gland is shut down, not to mention you're having other uh, medical effects, and then you have to be a patient mind. And I'm not joking about that. It's not a joke. So what do you do? Be careful. Underlying issues. Your libido's down. Why? Please go see a good doctor. Come see me. I'm actually hiring doctors now for the Florida office very, very soon. Thank you so much. Do a consultation. What will happen with a very good physician that's an expert in this field? You'll do a history. You'll, you'll get a chief complaint Why you're here. Every man's different. History of present illness. And then it works up with a detailed history. This is not anti-aging medicine, folks. This is very particular medicine for men that are using these agents, especially these young guys. Uh, I'm not saying older guys don't need care, but all these young men, they're taking these agents and they're disturbing their brain and their testosterone function. They don't have low T in most of these cases, but they want better sex or better mood or energy or libido, or they want to build muscle, which is understand what you're doing and the effects of what may happen. So you need a history and physical. You need to focus on the details. And for me, it has to be from head to toe. The CNS, the mood, the anxiety, general anxiety, PTSD. Then it moves down to the thyroid. Looking at thyroid is not an issue. The heart, gynecomastia, all the medical issues. And then, of course, looking at the testicle function. And how is your testosterone? What is your real level? Some men have problems with libido and mood, but their testosterone is super high, 7, 800, maybe higher, maybe 500. It's, is that the problem? Should you boost it? You have to ask yourself these questions, and will you pay the price? And are you going to be unhappy, and are you going to be concerned for what you did? And then you end up chasing your tail. So, what can you do? Be very careful. What I recommend is <clears throat> really think of what you want. Think of what you want. What's your goal? I always ask guys, what's your goal? Before we go on everything, what's your goal? What do you want to do? Why are you here? Okay. Beyond the guys that come to me because they already have medical issues. That's quite clear. And then, then I have to fix up and then we do the quality of life. So what can you do? Stay in great shape. Keep your brain good. Mental health is excellent. Get help. Talk to people. Talk to your loved ones. Stress release. Maybe vitamin D, D aspartic acid, zinc and ginger. Natural things that can have an effect on testosterone endogenously, but they're not going to have such a strong adverse effect like some of these boosters and pro-hormones. So, and go see a, a great doctor. Anywhere in the world, there's got to be great doctors. And try to realize that if you're competing against yourself and you're trying to gain this just for muscle more and more and more, oh, you may, but you'll also pay for it. I really hope this helps, everyone. Thank you so much. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.